Good morning. I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran in Rockford, Michigan. This is your isolation meditation for Wednesday, May 20th. No doubt by this time you've heard of the news of the disastrous flooding taking place in the Midland area and surrounding cities. It gets to the point where you start to think, what next? 2020 has been quite a year and it's only the month of May. I think of a quote from Hamlet where Gertrude says, One woe doth tread upon another's heels, so fast they follow. Or, as this is a meditation, perhaps it's better to be thinking of the scripture at a time like this. Think of the first chapter of the book of Job where all that bad news is coming his way, one after another. A messenger comes to Job and tells him, Your oxen and your don donkeys have been carried away. Your servants have been put to death. Then another messenger comes and says, Your sheep are all dead. Then another messenger comes and says, The Chaldeans have carried away your camels. And then that last messenger comes and says, Your sons and daughters were feasting in a house and a big wind came along and the building collapsed on them. No doubt Job was thinking, What? next during that time. And anytime you start to ask the question, what next, it leads to the other question, why? Why is this all happening? Why does God allow one trouble after the other? We know God's response to that question in the book of Job. He said, don't ask it. Job, don't ask why. You weren't there when I laid the foundations of the earth. Don't question the way I run the earth. Kind of a tough love response. But something we need to hear. It's not helpful to question the Lord and his ways. Now's not the time to question God. It's time to turn to God. Turn to the Lord. Instead of questioning him, we trust in him. We trust in his promises. That's what gets us through. Promises like the one we'll hear this Sunday in worship on as we celebrate the ascension. That the Lord has seated Jesus at his right hand and placed all things under his feet. He rules all things for the good of the church. He rules all things for good. That's a promise of God. We trust in it. And when we seek the Lord when we turn to him in prayer and we cast our cares and our anxieties on him, the result is a peace which passes understanding. The peace of knowing his promises are true, that he is in control. And it's not up to us. It's up to the one who's taken care of this world for so long and will continue till the last day. So we turn to him in prayer even today. We pray, Lord God, the troubles of this world are great. Your love, your mercy is even greater. We cast our cares and the cares of all those around us on you. We ask that you would bless us and take care of this world in the way that you do so well, always working even trouble, even disaster for our good. Give us a peace that so often eludes us, the peace that comes from knowing and relying on your promises. We ask this in your name. Amen. God bless your day.